You really gotta hand it to Kevin Hart, cause he can't reach. Cheers, everyone. Sunday night, Netflix, the Tom Brady roast. Man, dude, I don't know about you, but I thought it was I thought it was fantastic. It was good. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Tell me your thoughts. What did you like about it? Well, first, I think Tony Hinchcliffe just killed it. I think that great. guy's phone is going to be ringing off the hook. That's great. Nice shoes, bitch. Did you win those in the divorce? Tom Brady, why do you look like a gay Tom Brady? Gronk, I knew you were here when we were all out of chocolate milk backstage. There were a lot of what I call like podcast comedians. Burt Kreischer, Tom Segura. You know, I thought those guys bombed. Maybe they should call it the Brady list. When they went up there together. Well, yeah, not very good. One day yeah, they will. I didn't think they were very good at all. And one of the guys was continuing to kind of snort as he was laughing, which was very obnoxious. It was cringy. It was awkward. Yeah. And one thing that I found interesting is that when those two, when the two podcast guys were up there, I'm not sure if you noticed this or not, but they weren't really cutting away to the crowd or to Brady very much. So I don't know if the crowd wasn't reacting. Therefore, they weren't cutting away to the crowd because those guys weren't getting the reaction that you know what I'm saying? It was just... Yeah. That's a great point because anybody else that was up there, Nikki Glaser was up there. Yeah. There were genuine cutaways of of the reactions of the dais. Kim Kardashian, I am not a fan of Kim Kardashian, kind of felt for her a little bit, but then it, you realize she's so used to being in control of any time she's on camera, except when she's getting plowed, you know, <laughs> on, yeah. with her sex tape. Yeah. And for the people watching who might not know what you're talking about, when she went up on stage... Crowd booter. Mm -hmm. I mean, she got booed pretty, pretty bad, man. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty rough. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. It, uh, th that's like for a little bit of a moment, you're like, oh man. Yeah. But you know, she recovered, and then she took some. Uh, she took. She got blasted. Yeah. You know, when she was sitting down. Kim Kardashian, thank you so much for being here. I know Kim was terrified to be here tonight, not because of this, but because her kids are home with their dad. I thought all the athletes did well. I felt for Randy Moss. Yeah. Clearly not a comedian. Clearly stuff was written for him. Um, but that's got to be tough. Exactly. Yep. Completely 100% agree. I mean, if you're not a comedian, if you're not an actor, if you're not used to being in front of a crowd like that, it's got to be tough, man, to go up there, be funny, be able to deliver it the appropriate way to where you're making people laugh. Man, I thought Gronk was great. First off, I've taken shit bigger and blacker than you. And there were some great highlights, um, you know, when when Will Ferrell came out as Ron Burgundy, that was great. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Tom has a whole line of plant-based nutrition called TB12. Look it up. Yeah. It's good stuff. I lost 15 pounds from this stuff. Uh, those shakes work. I only had to drink one glass, and for the next two weeks, I was on the can with the worst case of diarrhea I've ever had. So one thing that I found interesting from, from watching it is, man... I think Tom's a pretty hard guy to roast, right? I mean, there's not a whole lot on the guy. You know, you got Giselle, of course, but you know, a lot of these guys were just continuing to talk about your skin's beautiful. I love your eyes. You're so handsome. You're so great looking. There's just not a ton on the guy. You know what I mean? Right. How do you roast a guy that's got everything? Yeah. And the only thing you could do is go after the divorce, right? Yeah. That's the layup. That that's that's just like with Kevin Hart, everybody hit that he's short. Well, that's what they all do. And I think because it's such an easy layup to go after his looks, you had a, a dais full of guys. That was the other interesting thing. Outside of Sam J and Nikki Glaser, it's all guys. Yeah. You know, which is also kind of, you know, I applaud Netflix for getting out of this woke zone with a live show. But Nikki Glaser had the had a real some good funny lines. She's funny. Pretty raw. I just want to say for the record, I do have a boyfriend. I would shoot you in the fucking face for a lottery ticket to suck this guy's dick. A couple of interesting things that I did notice. On the day issue had what I call podcast comedians. You fucking podcasters. I said don't let them in here. But I did notice in a cutaway Shane Gillis was in the audience. Mm -hmm. who I think is hysterical. Yeah. But he wasn't up there yeah. doing anything. Um, you had Dana White there with the with the UFC guys. No Joe Rogan. Yeah. I wonder what that was all about. You know what I mean? You figured he'd be there. You would think so, especially with, think. With, yeah. with Dana White's right there. Of course. Shane Gillis is there. Yep. Bert's there. Yeah. All these guys that are always on his podcast. Yeah. But no Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Because you had told me this 
a couple of weeks ago. Maybe this could be why. Um, and I've never seen it, but you have told me that his standup is just horrendous. I'm not a, I, I'm a fan of Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah. I am not a fan yeah. of his standup. Yeah. I don't think he's, he's uh, very good. Yeah. But I do appreciate everything he's done for comedy, moving to Austin, bringing all these comedians there. Uh, the platform he gives the comedians opening up mm -hmm. the the mothership in Austin. Um, totally applaud him for that. But I just don't find him funny. Yeah. But I uh, just like with with uh, Burt Kreischer. Yeah. Like, you know, you imagine when Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura are writing that. Mm -hmm. They're probably laughing out loud to each other. Oh, this is so great. This is so funny. This is so funny. Yeah. Do you know if this is now going to be a Netflix thing or is this just like a one time deal i don't know yeah it'd be kind of interesting know. to know but it's cool to see it live like that in a sold out arena